The Bill of Materials functionality allows you to set up a recipe for making an assembled product. Before you can create a Bill of Materials, you would need to ensure that you have set up your products correctly. So for this example, our gift basket is our final product, so we have selected it to be an assembled product. Our biscuits are one of our ingredients, so we have selected component product here. When you view your existing list of Bill of Materials, by default, you would see your active bill of materials, but you are also able to view those that have been obsoleted. From here, you can import or export or add a new bill of materials. You are also able to see which of these bill of materials have auto assembly or auto disassembly enabled. Please note that batch and serial track products cannot be auto assembled. Let's look at our existing bill of material for our gift basket. At the top of the screen is where you can select if you want to auto-assemble or disassemble this product. You are also able to select the sort by product option, which will allow you to sort the products in ascending order if you need to print the bill of materials. You are then able to see the quantity and wastage quantity per component product. You are also able to see the unit cost for each component. This will display the average landed cost of this product, assuming there is stock on hand. If there is no stock on hand, then the last cost will display. If you make any changes to the bill of materials, be sure to click on save. Thank you for watching.